Wyoming Governor Mark Gordon has issued an emergency declaration while crews look for both a short-term and a long-term solution. Yeah, Wyoming Governor Mark Gordon joining us now with a little bit more on this developing situation. I've been watching some of your Facebook posts uh, and the photos in the video jaw-dropping, and thankfully nobody was there for it. But as you bring us up to speed, I've been seeing quite a bit, some heavy machinery that was brought in. Um, what progress has been made as we're now, what, I mean, we're not even that far out, just a few days. Yeah, absolutely. Bob, Marissa, it's great to be here this morning. Thank you. It's been a busy weekend. Uh, I was up uh, and looked at uh, some of the uh, slide area on Friday. Of course, Saturday morning is when that catastrophic slide happened. Uh, we've got uh, top crews from our Wyoming Department of Transportation. Governor Little from Idaho has provided help uh, as well. Uh, I think we're looking at uh, all the options we have. Of course, uh, that's pretty obvious catastrophic failure. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, I asked for the emergency declaration. And I was actually on the phone uh, this weekend also with Secretary Buttigieg. So I'm looking at it right now. The short-term solutions, obviously, I don't think there are any right now. No, uh, we're, we're looking at any option we have uh, to try to reroute. As I say, this is the main route from Idaho mm -hmm. over to Jackson. There is a way around, but it's about an hour, an hour and a half. Oh, a lot of the workforce in Jackson uh, works, uh, lives in, in Idaho or down Valley. And, and so this, this is a real inconvenience. Um, but I do believe that we are working uh, as aggressively as we can to try to resolve the issues in a timely fashion. I mean, one of the things we love about this area so much is that it's so beautiful and you do have the mountains and, and the topography, right? That's what adds to the, the beauty and the, the um, caricature mm -hmm. of this land. But then to deal with something like this, we know the initial crack appeared on Thursday. Was the DOT ready for this potential collapse? Was it a little bit of a surprise? Because, I mean, the video on it caught it just so perfectly in that one moment where we see it all go down. Yeah, well, uh, um, what we what we noticed, of course, was the crack. We'd had multiple mudslides before that. Uh, there's been a, a little bit of a, a warm up and, and a, a lot of kind of a solution kind of moving along. And so all these mudslides, we'd actually been clearing the road a couple of days beforehand. That one crack uh, started. We were looking at ways to um, kind of fix it. Uh, and um, and then <laughs> overnight, thankfully, we shut the road down. But thankfully, uh, uh, most of the damage occurred overnight and nobody was even near it. Uh, next morning, of course, you know, you saw this, uh, what you're looking mm -hmm. at the video now. Yeah, that's the major highway, right? 22 that goes between Idaho and Wyoming. Are there any other byways around here that could be affected like that? <laughs> yeah, there are. Um, uh, you, you know, this is uh, eastern Idaho to uh, to uh, western Wyoming, uh, you can go down uh, down Valley. There's another road that's about an hour, an hour and a half uh, longer. Uh, west Yellowstone's to the north. You yep. come through uh, Yellowstone Park and down through Grand Teton. Mm -hmm. So there are some ways to get there. Uh, people shouldn't change their uh, their plans just because of this. It's important to know that we are addressing it. Uh, maybe a little bit of a delay, but uh, the summer's up and running, and it's a great time to come to Wyoming. It is. A lot of challenges, right, when you're working with this sort of yeah. um, layout in terms of trying to find a solution and getting everybody around. Because I know this is um, quite the avenue for tourism and business and trucks that have shipments and whatnot. Um, so working on the timetable, but also I think is this just a reality of roads in this area that landslides, mudslides, especially given a rainy situation and rainy melting on, snow? on top of snow melt, yeah. right? Yeah, um, that that's always a challenge. We've had a couple of uh, mudslides in the past. Uh, this this one's pretty pretty dramatic, as you can see. Uh, but we are looking at ways that we can address it, and and hopefully in the next few days, uh, Wyoming's department uh, will have some really good ideas about uh, ways to accommodate uh, travelers as they come over Highway 22. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, as I say, you can come around the other directions as well. Wow. Well, best of luck to you, Governor. Thank you so much for taking the time out and talking to us with the Fox Weather. I know got your hands full with this one, but we appreciate you taking out the time. Thank you.